I bought a teleprompter and now I'm gonna use it. So here's the story. Back in year 2017, I released a comedy sketch entitled Four VR Games That'll Leave You Hungering For More, a sketch that wasn't really a success by any YouTube metric, but hey, I was proud of it, Peter's art was amazing, and I thought the premise was very stupid and maybe even quite funny. What matters most is that a comment appeared in the comment section, a comment that would change my life forever. I promptly got in contact with Josh and his friend Alan. The two of them have a game studio called Space Tronaut, and I was told that they were really going to make this game. I made sure they had everything necessary to start, and that was that. Since it was a spare time thing, the turnaround wasn't going to be quick, and that was NBD to me. After Alan joined my Discord and we became closer friends, I started receiving occasional exciting progress updates. And then when I performed a show in Ann Arbor in April 2019, a very rare thing for me, Alan and Josh drove all the way up from Louisville to attend the concert and give me the full VR experience of the game. I was blown away and humbled. It was hilarious, it was stupid, it was surreal, it was fun. It was, in essence, an interactive comedy sketch. Alan did some further tweaking over the next year. We added some brand new elements that weren't in the original video. There was some beta testing by some hashtag blessed and truly appreciated folks in my Discord. And now the game is finally ready for release. Wow, and I can't wait for you to check it out. VR is not required, but it's definitely the ideal way to play. If you're a pro gamer on the Steam website, I'm begging you to help this hot dad out and please click on the link below and wishlist the game. It helps immensely with the Steam algorithms and will get the game in front of more very cool eyeballs. We'd love to make more games together in the future, so the better that this one does, the more likely that can be a reality. It's going to be $4 or less when it's on sale, and the release date is two weeks after I post this video. Check the description slash pinned comment if you want an exact date. And now, please enjoy the trailer for The Hunger Games Ensemble VR, and thanks so, so, so much for being here. I love you a bunch. Uh, oh, uh, uh, uh. I can't stop playing these games. I literally can't because my high quality VR headset is stuck to my head and I'm okay with that. In year of our Lord 2020, there are many video games available to play on gaming computer PC. Gamers hunger for rich experiences, hoping to frequently feed their video cards and Xbox 360 gamer pads with potent premium entrees, digesting the divine digital drops one daily download at a time, like glorious gaming gastronomes. And then came VR, which stands for virtual reality, which is like in real life reality, but it isn't really reality. Gamers used high-tech headsets to enter immersive 3D worlds, climb 3D mountains using 3D fingers and toes, dance with 3D demons, sit on 3D couches. Times were too good for gamers. They overdid it with virtual delights. Their bellies got too full, to the maximum. In order to discover that elusive fun again, the gamers and the players needed to hunger once more. Introducing The Hunger Games Ensemble VR. Put on your VR headset and let's get ready to rumble. In your stomach, starve to death in a variety of 3D worlds. Explore and have fun. Pick things up like bones. Dodge obstacles. Do quest type things. Answer yes or no questions. Get tricked. And secrets perhaps? VR not required, but it definitely maximizes the experience. A music video? Voice acting and a special guest. Very cool music composed by me, Hot Dad. And enjoy some laughs along the way. <laughs> the Hunger Games Ensemble VR Concept by Hot Dad Developed by Spacetronaut 